This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at electron configurations and the periodic table. As we can see, the elements in the periodic table are divided into blocks. Elements in groups 1 and 2 are in the S block, therefore they are S block elements. Elements in groups 13 to 18 are in the P block, therefore they are P block elements. Elements in groups 3 to 12 are in the D block, therefore they are D block elements. And at the bottom of the periodic table, we have elements in the F block, which are F block elements. The block to which an element belongs indicates which sublevel is being filled with electrons. So for S block elements, the S sublevel is being filled with electrons. So these electrons could be filling the 1S, 2S, 3S sublevel, and so on. For the P block elements, the P sublevel is being filled with electrons. So these electrons could be filling any of the P sublevels from 2 up to 6. For D block elements, it's the D sublevel that's being filled with electrons. These electrons could be filling any of the D sublevels from 3 to 6. And for the F block elements, it's the F sublevel that's being filled with electrons. These electrons could be filling either the 4F sublevel or the 5F sublevel. It's worth noting that helium, despite being located in the P block, is actually an S block element. Its electron configuration is 1S2, which shows that the S block is being filled with electrons. Helium is located in group 18 because it has a full outer shell of electrons. Therefore, it has similar properties to other noble gases. Next, we'll look at the block, the valence electron configuration, and the number of valence electrons for the main group elements. These are elements in groups 1 and 2, and 13 to 18. So if we start with group 1, elements in group 1 are S block elements. They have the valence electron configuration NS1, where N is the highest occupied main energy level. Elements in group 1 have one valence electron. Moving on to group 2, elements in group 2 are S block elements. They have the valence electron configuration NS2, and they have two valence electrons. For groups 13 to 18, these are all P block elements. For elements in group 13, the valence electron configuration is NS2, NP1, and group 13 elements have three valence electrons. As we go across the periodic table from group 13 to 18, we can see that the electrons are filling the P sublevel, and the number of valence electrons is increasing by one as we go from group to group. For example, elements in group 14 have four valence electrons, and elements in group 15 have five valence electrons. The number of valence electrons increases by one until we get to group 18, where the elements have eight valence electrons. So next, we look at what we can determine from the electron configuration of an element regarding its position in the periodic table. So we'll start with lithium, which has the atomic number three, and the electron configuration 1s2, 2s1. So the two is the highest occupied main energy level and the period number. So lithium has two occupied main energy levels, therefore it's found in period two. The 2s sublevel is being filled with electrons, therefore lithium is an S block element. And then we have the one, which is the number of valence electrons in the highest occupied main energy level. So lithium has one valence electron, therefore it's found in group one. So from this electron configuration, we can determine that lithium is in period two in the S block in group one. The next example is phosphorus, which has the atomic number 15 and the electron configuration Ne 3s2 3p1. So the three is the highest occupied main energy level and the period number. Phosphorus has three occupied main energy levels, therefore it's found in period three. The three P sublevel is being filled with electrons, therefore phosphorus is a P block element. The valence electrons are those found in the highest occupied main energy level. So they are the two electrons in the three S sublevel and the three electrons in the three P sublevel. So the total number of valence electrons is five. Therefore, phosphorus is found in group 15. 
So to recap, from this electron configuration, we can determine that phosphorus is in period 3 in the P block in group 15. Our next example is strontium with the atomic number 38 and the electron configuration KR5S2. So the 5 is the highest occupied main energy level and the period number. Strontium has 5 occupied main energy levels, therefore it's found in period 5. The 5S sublevel is being filled with electrons, therefore strontium is an S block element. And the 2 is the number of valence electrons which tells us that strontium is in group 2. So from the electron configuration we can determine that strontium is in period 5 in the S block in group 2. Our next example is Krypton with the atomic number 36. The electron configuration is AR3D10 4S2 4P6. So the 4 is the highest occupied main energy level and the period number. So Krypton has 4 occupied main energy levels therefore it's found in period 4. The 4P sublevel is being filled with electrons therefore Krypton is a P block element. The valence electrons are those found in the highest occupied main energy level. So that's the 2 in the 4S sublevel and the 6 in the 4P sublevel, which gives a total of 8 valence electrons. Therefore, Krypton is found in group 18. So from the electron configuration, we can determine that Krypton is found in period 4 in the P block in group 18. Our next example is fluorine with atomic number 9 and the electron configuration HE2S2 2P5. So the 2 is the highest occupied main energy level and the period number. Fluorine has 2 occupied main energy levels therefore it's found in period 2. The P tells us that fluorine is a P block element. The valence electrons are those found in the highest occupied main energy level. So those are the 2 electrons in the 2S sublevel and the 5 electrons in the 2P sublevel, which gives a total of 7 valence electrons. Therefore, fluorine is found in group 17. So from the electron configuration, we can determine that fluorine is in period 2 in the P block in group 17.